All right, so uh, today we're gonna talk a little bit about insulation because Delos is an aluminum boat and we've planned the whole time to fully insulate her both for thermal insulation and soundproofing. And insulation is a tricky business. It's something that I knew absolutely nothing about until I started researching for this project. I still know very little, which is why I kind of wanted to make this video and see if any of you guys out there that know a lot about aluminum or metal boats and have insulated your boat or have experience of others could maybe help me out and give you some pointers um, because there's a bunch of different options. So the first option that I talked about was, uh, or that was mentioned to me, was just spray foaming the whole thing. So basically you tape everything off, you get out the spray foam machine, you just go and it kind of like goes all over the place and it expands out as far as you want it. And then you come back and you trim it away if your wire runs and everything. Um, I understand the ease of that method. I think there's also some downfalls to that. I'd rather stay away from that primarily because once you stick that stuff on, if you need to get to anything or make a repair or do anything, it is a major challenge. I mean, it's really just like stuck and caked to the metal. Uh, so the second option is then using like an insulation bat. So this is uh, a material that I've kind of been playing around with. It's this one particular one is called Neolin. I think it's an extruded polyethylene foam. It's actually used as a buoyancy and an insulation foam. It's, it's incredibly light, like it's 25 kilos per cubic meter, I think is the density. Uh, it's a closed cell foam, so it doesn't absorb water or moisture or smells or anything like that. And it makes pretty good thermal and sound insulation. So the idea would be just to cut pieces like this. It just kind of sticks in there. Nice snug fit. And there you go. So there's a couple of different ways that I was thinking of attaching it. Um, the one method is to take these insulation pins and then you affix these to the hole like that. And then you kind of like press the insulation over the pin and then you put a little cap on the top and that's what holds it up against the hole. Uh, the other option is this stuff actually comes with a sticky back. So you peel the back off and then you just literally and then the sticky back sticks to the hole. Um, it's a little bit more expensive. I really like the flexibility of being able to pull it off the hole if I want to. So I'm kind of like in favor of these ideas. But if anybody has any other pros and cons they're they're thinking of, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Um, the other thing that I'm thinking of is I've heard that if you have uh, insulation that is against a metal hole like this and you have the opportunity to get condensation or water behind it for any reason and there's no oxygen in there then you can have corrosion so you either have to allow oxygen in or you have to keep the water in the moisture out and so I'm going through ways to do that in my head there's a, another product that I found out about there's one called Mascoat DTM and another one called Pyrotech T35. And they're actually a thermal coating that you would spray on over this. It's very thin, about two millimeters thin, and it uh, provides protection for the metal. Uh, this part, we were just playing with different kind of application methods uh, and different levels of uh, thinning it until we could get a smooth fin finish with the brush. Uh, and then I was just testing to see if an insulation pin would actually stick to it and it actually sticks really well. You could literally paint the whole boat with that. So all the window sills, so anywhere there's metal coming into the boat, if you painted it with that coating, then it, uh, it actually acts as a layer of insulation. The problem is if you were to just to do this, then this would be nice and insulated, but right here, would, assuming you had a little thing of insulation here, this little strip would be cold because it would conduct the heat right from outside, right? Or vice versa, if it was warm inside and it was cold outside, this would be cold. And then you would get condensation forming just along that strip or anywhere there's exposed metal and then it would start to drip down. And that's really, really what we want to avoid. So I guess another option would be put these sheets in here because they're the exact width and then put another sheet on top of it that covers everything, but I think it's gonna be kind of tricky to get into like all the grooves and all the corners, which is another pro of the spray-in insulation because it just, 
it just fills everything, right? All right, so if you have some knowledge that you'd like to share or you've insulated an aluminum boat, um, I would love to hear from you. Just go ahead and put your uh, feedback in the comments below. It'd be super cool. Uh, we're just trying to learn as much as possible, so we appreciate everybody's knowledge out there. And I'm also gonna go ahead and pop all the details for the products that I'm thinking about using. I'll put the links to those in the description below as well. And we will be back to you with a normal video on Friday. Okay, thanks for watching.